There's the whistle. Played out to the right. Schmidt. Gomez. Hasabor. Gomez. Caldara. Hasabor. Gomez. Schmidt. Gomez. Now it's Zapata. Teo battles to win it back. He goes long. Zapata shoots! It's there! And Atalanta go in front. Atalanta are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best and they back it up with goals. Atalanta take the lead. Still a fragile lead though, they can't afford to sit on this. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. That's a ball. Who's going to make this theirs? Schmidt. Caldara. Schmidt. Caldara. Hasebor. Caldara. Schmidt. Josip Ilicic. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And it's Insigne. Josip Ilicic. Josip Ilicic. Now it's Zapata. Gomez with the ball through. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Clears it out of harm's way. What a throw in. Josip Ilicic. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And the whistle goes for half-time. Not the most convincing of displays, they could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. And the action is back on the way. Benevento need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. They've done it! A two-goal cushion! And it's looking safe! What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Atalanta have a couple of goals without reply, it's 
that second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Atalanta have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Well played, he saw that coming. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Now the pass. Manchu passes it square. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Schmidt. Gomez. The Rhone. Josip Ilicic. Maggio. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Zapata goes pulsing down that left-hand side. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. And it's been taken short. That's the throw. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes... Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. it upfield They've managed to get it away that's a throw Matera that's good defence uh, plain and simple good defence they refuse to allow a turn the room. Ilicic has set up one goal so far. Maggio really struggling to influence the game. Yeah, I think if he's going to make better progress, then he's going to need to find a little more space. And uh, I think his team can help out by getting one or two others around him to give him a bit more support as well. Because at this moment, he's just been crowded out and he's not having the impact on the game that he should. Zapata. Looking cross. And that's that. Benevento puffed and puffed, but in the end, no joy. That's the game. The result is what matters. And this result is cruel. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen?